Kilkenny Municipality Youth Camp prepares to depart this morning, the 19th of March 2016, at the City Hall. This event has been put together by Etiwini Municipality and Sports Development and Recreation. Still at the City Hall where the municipality um, youth camp is about to depart and I think this is the security um, measure of it where um, the officials are now checking if the children are all in the list and to make sure that the children are obviously signed in. We're going to speak to one of the officials and have a look at how they're making sure that each child is in fact in the list and just to cross check for security measures I assume. Um, let's see who we can speak to. Representing the Sports Development and Recreation Department is Sandra Kati, the Senior Manager. Thank you for uh, giving us a moment to speak to us. Tell us about the objectives of this program. Um, is it the first of its kind? Will it be continuing? And um, why in March? This is a crucial month. Mm. It's uh, a religious month. Okay. And also this is a an important month where the country has just mm. gone through the registration of the local elections. Okay, thank you so much Keisha for giving us an opportunity as a department of sports development and recreation. So this is a, it's a, it's a third program. So we are doing it for the third time this year. The reason why we had to try and make sure that we also coordinated the youth camp for the what for our teenagers is because we wanted to make sure that when we develop them in different codes of sports, we also look at what is uh, at their, at their morals and also at their life skills. Because this one is also going to assist us as a department to make sure that they are able to to work with one another. You know, the xenophobia part of it, you know, it's one of the challenges that we have encountered as, as a nation. So with this program, we are trying to make sure to address those issues. And also to make sure that we um, also teach our young generation at this moment that, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white. All of us, we belong to the, the very same nation. And it's possible for us to work with one another. So in this camp, we have made it a point that all of, all of them from the different racial groups are also invited. So the issues that we are going to discuss because the reason why we have also identified the match uh, it's, it's, it's a registration period for, 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 the, for, the, for, the, for the, the local uh, elections. So the, if you look at the age group that we have targeted, it's about 17 to 19, which is for them, it's the beginning of the, of the long journey. So they need to understand the importance of making sure that they also say their voice. They also need to, I mean, to vote to make sure that the development within the country at large, they are also part and parcel of that one. And also over and above that, we wanted to make sure that when we are developing sport, when they are competing against one another, they also make sure that they are able to, we are also promoting the social cohesion in everything that we are doing with them. So we'll be looking at also the, the national challenges that we are currently facing. You know, the, your water, we have got the challenge of, of water nationally. So we want to share with them at this early age that how best can they start to make sure that they control water and also be also be mindful as the, 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 the future leaders to that the importance of doing that. What are some of the challenges that you've come across as you were putting together this program? And also, uh, my second question would be, what is your um, what is your age group breakdown? I know that there were there were talks of 15 year olds also being involved, and there were talks of 19 year olds being the the oldest. Um, what now? If you've had a look at the kids that have come through, what is the age group that you seem to to have present here today? Okay, the, today with this one uh, for this year, we have taken that. 17 to 19. That's the age group. So for the previous uh, youth camps that we've coordinated, we had to start as early as 15 to 17. Because on a yearly basis, we look at the current challenges and see that as a department of, of sports, how best can you also contribute? How best can you also add value at the, at the national challenges? So we see this uh, program as one of the programs that is going to assist us as a department. That once we are focusing on the development of different codes, we also want to make sure that we develop an athlete in totality. They also need to be able to decide between the wrong and right as they continue leading the country. Tell me about the issue of safety for the children at the camp, uh, the Spirit of Adventure venue where the children are going. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the safe, safety and security measures that you may have taken there to ensure that should emergencies um, happen, what what happens? Are there any hospitals nearby? Um, what what are the structures that you've got implemented? Any doctors on standby? Yes, yes. you know, as I've already indicated, we are the Department of Sports. Uh, we, we, we 
we develop so it means we've got a number of the events that we coordinate so the reason why we had to make sure that we also engage with the relevant uh, accommodation people so the things that we had to try and identify their security issues uh, fortunately for us the one that we, we, we was able to I mean to, to be appointed we had to give them the, the specifications for us to go to out to tender one of the major uh, you know uh, aspects that we had to consider the security issues so it means the, the spirit of and adventure is one of the facility which is which has a they have got their own system uh, safety securities but over and above that we have also engaged our own uh, uh, department sister departments that also uh, make sure that they also assist us to make sure that we do that. So there are forms that we have also, there is an insurance that we have also taken, which is a municipal for all the programs or when you are taking the atlas to, to participate uh, in, in any event. So all those proper processes are in place. We have made it upon that. I just also want to make sure that, and also to speak to the parents, that as a department, we, we have done, uh, uh, the, 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 we, we have made it a point that the security issues is one of our number one in our, in, in our coordination. Tell me about, uh, while we are on security, tell me about the bus. Um, the bus driver, your kids are on the road, the parents' kids, and I would imagine you are a mom too, so you, you do feel the, the sense of parent, parenthood in there. What security measures have been taken to ensure that the bus driver is somebody that is, um, that the bus is insured, the bus driver, the children are insured, and the bus driver is somebody that um, is allowed to drive, you know, that, that has a, a driver's license and is not under intoxication of alcohol. What are the structures you've taken to, to secure that? Okay. Okay, maybe also to share with the nation at large, within the city we've got a department which is a city fleet department, that is part, that's part of their role. So anything that has to do with the transport, we as a department we fill in the necessary form and then we give them that this is what we require from them. As part of the package, as part of their responsibility, they don't appoint any service provider which, is not, which, is not, which does not align or which, does not, which is not acceptable by the nation at large. That's, that's, that is how it's being done within the city. We, we don't uh, you know, tap in, 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 in a department territory because for each and every uh, component, for instance, if we are to do the communication, we do have a, a specialized department that deals with communication, which makes a point that everything that is going to be done concerning that, it's, it's, it's what is being required. The next uh, question that I would like to ask you is regarding the, 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 there are foreign nationals that are present and there are national children as well. Now with the foreign nationals, how many countries have responded positively and how many countries um, whose children are present and that will be um, uh, into sharing um, experiences and involved are, that are participating in this event today? Okay, as I've just indicated, we have also partnered with the international governments within the city. The countries that uh, it's African countries that are also going to be part of this program. We've got your know, all those that are also you know our uh, living our, uh, within the Tegwin at large. You've got your Nigerian which are part of the what of the crew. We've got your, your Zambia which is Zambi Zambia which are part of the crew. There are, there, all the African countries actually they are also part of that. But working closely and working together with the international governments, they are the one. They have also made made it a point that they have also contacted the ambassadors that are also stationed here just to make sure that. Anything that we do, it also aligns and it speaks to what is expected when you are engaging with different African countries. So the countries you mentioned here are the countries whose children have are participating here today? Yes, we've got a, 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 for each and every because there are about 20 different courts that we have identified. So for each and every court we have identified there is a, an African a child that is going to participate in that court particular case. There is also a, 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 the white, there is also the a, our sister a, a, Sister, the, the, the sister from the African countries for each and every code. We have also looked at the issues of the disabled, you know, those that, that are not able. We have also brought them on board so that we as the able people will begin to understand their frustration and we begin to know what is it that we also need to make sure that when we work with them, when we compete with them, that it also needs to be considered. I looked at the kids as they were walking through. I noticed that there's uh, not much racial balance uh, balance going on. Um, was it as a, 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 how many, what is your racial balance at the moment how many children from the Caucasian race and how many from the Asian group and how many from the African group or which is the dominating group mm. 
Actually, our plan, we wanted to have 50-50, but unfortunately, due to the response, for now, I can say we're sitting at 60, 60-20, I mean 60-40, because we've got most of the African ones, the ones that we normally deal with, the, the citizens of Eteguini at large, they have also responded positively. But over and above that, but we do also have, you know, your, your white athletes, because as we, as we are currently developing the water codes, we don't only focus on the, you know, black dominated area, we also focus on the white dominated area. But engaging with them, because if you, you, you were here, here this morning, we have already engaged the parents because we also want them to be part of our planning so that when they are also at home, they must also try and also speak the very same, you know, motivate their kids that it, 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 it's okay to play with a black African. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's okay to, to, to be friends with them. Mm. Thank you very much for the moment and for this initiative. Thank you so much. I'm Sabasi Lemajosi from the Outreach Department. Basically, the IEC manages elections from the national, provincial, and local governments. We also ensure that the elections are free and fair. This year, we are targeting the youth to go and register and vote. Our program will basically focus on the importance of voting, who can register, and where can you register, and also. The program for tomorrow will be divide the groups into two groups where the other side will, will be on the side where they feel the importance of voting and the other side will disagree with that. And also wants to hear the perceptions about voting which is very important because they are the future of our country and it, we also want to encourage them to go and vote because we feel that it's important and also they need to understand that voting is it. Is, 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 is their rise, so it is to exercise those rights as, as South African citizens. You are aware that um, you, this this obviously is, is, is March, which is the month that um, the whole country has just gone through the registration for local government elections. Um, my question is, um, is this was this is strategically uh, decided by you guys that because it is this kind of a month, you will then be at this particular event, or would you have been at this event at any other given time? And uh, the second question would uh, rather be, um, how do you feel about the fact that there are there are foreign national children that will be here uh, today who do not have the legal right to vote? So when you speak as IEC, will you be secluding those children or will you be speaking to all the children in the same um, at the same vicinity? Okay, we were, in any given time, we're going to be part of the events. In the past of voting, as 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 the South African law that yes. describes this. Only South African citizens are allowed to vote. We are not excluding the other countries, but it's, it's, it's our law that stipulates that only South African citizens are allowed to vote. During the sessions, we will not exclude them. They will be part of the whole program, the whole sessions. They will, I think mostly they will participate in the debates because in other countries they also participate in voting. So I think their opinions will also be included during the sessions. And the first question that you haven't answered for me is basically, why have you guys chosen the now? Um, um, or would you like to answer that question and give us your name, please, as a part of the team? Um, what, why have you guys chosen March and this particular event? Did it just uh, so happens that it's in March that the camp youth camp is happening and that March is also has been a month for local um, election registration that are about to take place? Um, or is there a specific reason why it was done um, this particular time? I would say the municipalities have a good timing because eh? we, we were busy with registering and then the event came so it was part of our plan to involve youth in anyhow anyway but as I've said the municipality was so good in timing because we are busy with outreach right now in the registration so I, I, I will not say it was part of the plan because we are already doing the registration, so it just fallen in pieces. That's what I can say. Thank you very much and um, enjoy the camp. One of the partners to the event is the UKZN. Speaking on behalf of the UKZN is Mr. Patrick Zimu from the Sports Sciences. Thank you for coming and speaking to us. Please tell us, um, on behalf of the, the UKZN, what is your objective here today and what is part of the programs that you're going to be uh, doing with the children or um, what, is, what, what are you going to be doing with the kids? Tell us, what is your aim? 
As UKZN Sports Scientist Department, we were approached by the municipality to come to the youth camp and educate the kids about the careers in sport. As all these kids are playing sport, we just want to tell them that it's not only about being an elite athlete in sport, but you can enroll in a sports science program whereby you'll be taught about sport and how to manage sport and how to do all the other things that are usually done behind the scenes regarding the sport. Sport management or sport sciences. Will you be um, um, speaking to these teenage uh, kids because you've got I think 15, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 kids anywhere between that age group you could have some of those kids and some of them are getting ready just to step into university. Will you be speaking to them about different career options or will you only be restricting yourself within your sector of it um, and also will you be speaking to them about possible scholarships and speaking to them or motivating them on coming to and on, on choosing the United um, the, the the UKZN as the 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 um, their tertiary institution of choice. Obviously, the main focus will be my sector. The main focus will be the biokinetics, exercise and leisure sciences department. I will be motivating them to come to our department and enroll in the program as part of their career. But at the same time, I will be telling them about the other career options that are offered by UKZN. I'll be telling them about the available scholarships offered by University of KwaZulu-Natal. I'll be telling them about the other scholarship opportunities that the national government is giving to the kids. I'll be telling them about applications, what they need to do in terms of CAO applications until they get to varsity and register. So it will be a holistic process whereby I tell them about everything from the date from today whereby they are still in metric until they register and start studying and what they can do after graduating, what will be the career opportunities then mainly about sports sciences. Thank you very much for, um, for, for being a, a part of this event and we do hope that um, your voice can be heard by the kids and therefore creating an educated uh, society. Thank you very much. Thank you. We speak to one of the parents um, that uh, she has just left her daughter here and we speak to some of the kids to hear what they have to say, what they anticipate and what the mom is feeling at this moment um, as she leaves her daughter here with the friends to venture onto this uh, spirit of adventure camp that has been organized. Thank you for speaking to us. Um, how do you feel um, about your daughter is about to leave and go to the camp? Um, is it the first time that she's leaving? How do you feel? It is the first time for her to attend the camp. But to go with the uh, Etequini, it's not the first time. As a parent, I would say I'm very happy to see such uh, occasions or activities where the children are taken out and be exposed in a proper activities, removing them from the road and the street. So I hope they will enjoy themselves and learn much better. And I think uh, because they are still in high school, they are growing those uh, wings to learn to fly on their own. Is it the first time that your daughter has, has attended such a camp organized by the Etewini municipality? It is the first time, but uh, she last year, uh, the other year, 2014, she played for the Salga. So I think she, she, she is familiar to leave home and she was very lucky to be chosen to play for Australia and uh, representing South Africa in netball and she went to Australia. So it's not for the first time leaving me and going with the friends. Nice accomplishment. Can we speak to her? Are you the little one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your achievement. We like that. We like to hear your achievement and seeing that it's not your first um, um, involvement in, in, in sports and, and, and such events. Is it the first time that you are involved in, 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 in the youth camp that you are now uh, going to the spirit of, event, of, of adventure? Um, yeah, it is. Um, I don't know what else you want. The accomplishment and <laughs> stuff. So, okay, well, um, I've been at like... I've been to municipal camps and stuff, so I went to Etiguini. Um I went on soccer camps in 2014 and it, it's, it's really nice and I'm quite happy that I'm going with them again to spread our adventure.
So it's, there's nothing new for you, you kind of know exactly what's going to happen? Well, no, not really, because um, we've never been to Spirits of Adventure as like a whole group, and so I'm quite keen to know what's, what we're going to do there. Congratulations for your achievement at your age. Thank you. <laughs> We are now at Guamuche Museum where we have observed the children take a tour inside the museum. They're now proceeding towards the venue where they'll be located for four days at Spirit of Adventure in Chongweni. Kasia Kulu, tell the journalist Durban.